We have House Energy and Commerce Committee Chairman Fred Upton. He has direct oversight over these matters, Republican from Michigan. Chairman Fred Upton, welcome to the show. You know, of course, and we've talked about the Keystone Pipeline with Tom Donahue tonight already, but I want to ask you, Chairman Upton, what, if anything, can you do? What can Congress do? What can your committee do right now about this decision? Well, a couple things. Uh, first of all, last summer we passed two to one on the House floor a uh, bill to move, to move the decision up as fast as we could. As you know, we included it in the payroll tax uh, deduction fight uh, this last December. We, we put a condition in there that the president had to make a decision based on national interest. He decided today, no, even though a week ago he said uh, he would do whatever it takes to create American jobs. Uh, we announced today that we've asked Secretary of State Hillary Clinton to come testify before our committee next week. Uh, we are going to try, uh, as the speaker said, to use every means possible to pursue legislation to, in fact, get this, uh, uh, get legislation moving again where we can create these jobs and reduce our dependence on Middle East oil. You know, that's the thing, Fred. So many observers believe that if the Keystone Pipeline ever came to a vote, not just in the Republican House, but in the Democratic Senate, that vote would pass in favor of the pipeline. Is there any way to gin up a vote that actually would be on the floor of both houses? Some people have said a, a, a bill that would grant licensing power to uh, Keystone via the Congress. Is anything like that possible? Larry, we are going to pursue every option. We did have a vote last summer, and in the House, it was nearly two to one. Even my predecessor, John Dingell, former Democratic chair of the Energy and Commerce Committee, supported this bill not only in committee, but also on the House floor. We want to get this back for a vote. I'm convinced that we can get a bipartisan strong vote in both the House and the Senate to get these jobs and really get America moving again. All right, House Energy Chair Fred Upton from Michigan. We appreciate it.